Drivers argued Big Brother was watching, and a judge agrees. New Miami has been ordered to pay back money collected from traffic cameras. And that comes to $3 million. Local 12's Larry Davis has been following this battle since it began three years ago. He's live now with more on reaction to the ruling. Hi, Larry. Hi, Cammy. Well, drivers used to curse those speed cameras that were mounted on poles here in the village of New Miami, but those who got speeding tickets are now cheering a judge's decision that tells the village that it has to pay up. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy for everybody. I'm so happy everybody's going to get their refund, which they deserve. I'm thrilled. Michelle Johnson was one of the original plaintiffs in a lawsuit challenging New Miami's mounted speed cameras. In 2013, she received a surprise ticket in the mail, saying she was allegedly speeding through New Miami by one of the cameras. Michelle claimed she was not speeding, but she paid the ticket. But she didn't think it was fair and joined others in taking the village to court. I felt that my right to be able to cross-examine and fight the ticket um, wasn't there since I couldn't fight a camera. I didn't have the, the ability to face my accuser properly. The mounted speed cameras were eventually ruled unconstitutional and eventually taken down. Connie Abner was also caught on camera, but she doesn't think she was driving too fast. 40, maybe three, four, right in there, five, no no more than that. And the limit's what, 35? Yeah, but you, they're supposed to let you buy with 40, but evidently they don't. The mounted cameras were replaced by handheld cameras that are used now by new Miami police officers on patrol. Connie says she was caught on camera again. Yes, don't even start. Yes, yes, it was 90, 93, I believe, I paid. Those who were allegedly caught speeding by the mounted cameras are pleased with the judge's ruling that the village of New Miami must refund their fines. I think it'd be great, but whatever, it'd be good. Some of those people, that was a, a hardship on them, and I've been in that position as a single mom before. I'm thrilled that this might be a bill that they can pay that they should have been able to pay in the first place. So, Cammie, the big question is, does New Miami have the money to pay back these people who were given speeding tickets? Uh, that's a good question, but we did not get any answers today from when we had tried to contact people with the New Miami Village. Now, uh, they, there is a plan to appeal these decisions. There are appeals process currently in, uh, underway. And uh, an affidavit to receive, uh, that was filed in court uh, by the fiscal officer says that uh, the general fund in New Miami is $1.375 million. And Connie Adner says that she might be able to pay the new traffic ticket which she got with the repayment from the first ticket she got from the speed cameras. Live in New Miami, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammy, back to you. Okay, Larry, thank you. Butler County Judge Michael Oster says the order to pay back the money was to, quote, correct the unjust enrichment of the village of New Miami. We're learning more.